Hi guys, I'm here at the Cancun airport and I'm telling you how I accidentally hacked the Mexican visa system. Uh, if you know anything about what's going on right now with the Mexican visa system, you normally get six months to, uh, to come uh, without no questions asked. Uh, here recently they've been giving people shorter visa stays and a lot of people are worried about it and so uh, what they'll typically do is they'll do like a visa run where they'll fly to another country or another something just to update their visa dates or um, I've heard of people um, you know, you know, basically what I did. I just waited till I had to come to the U.S. So that's what I did. A couple months ago, I had to go to El Paso to do something, and I literally was flying there and flying right back. And so when I flew to El Paso, I actually flew to Juarez. It's the round trip was like 120 bucks, 130 bucks. Um, and so when I flew there, um, you know, they were they were I was supposed to pay like a fine or something like. Uh, 700 because at the time I think it was supposed to be like 700 pesos or um, and at the time it was over a year old and so um, but I told them I was like hey I'm actually um, flying uh, they go are you entering into Mexico or into the US and I, I told them no I just I don't know I just didn't even think about it and uh, uh, you know I was trying to get out of paying that fine if I didn't have to and so the next day when I flew back um, I, uh, I, I requested a new visa and uh, so anyways, it updated my date, but what I didn't pay attention was that they, uh, they only gave me seven days, but it's only because she asked me, how long will you be staying? And I only said a couple months, and I didn't give her an exact date. I heard that if you uh, specifically say, I'm gonna be here until July 15th, or whatever date it's supposed to be, and you show them your, your flight back, they will give you to that date. If not, they'll just give you whatever date they want to. Uh, <clears throat> And that's the big concern that a lot of people have right now is that uh, they're giving people much shorter uh, visa stays instead of the typical six months or 180 days that they used to give. So um, if you have any questions about it, I know there's a lot of concerns about uh, visa uh, right now and there's all these horror stories of people getting arrested and I know they do happen and I have heard of people that do get in trouble for, for overstaying their visa. Um, but um, I, I want, you know, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Um, but I will let you know what happens to me when I land in Houston if I get... Um, Oh, so that's what I was going to say. So I am here in Cancun, and nobody has said anything about my visa stay. Uh, nobody even cared about the date. Um, and I'm literally about to board my plane right now. So I really want to find out if that worked or not. Um, and I'll keep you posted when I land in Houston if the hat worked. So, uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. So I just arrived here in Houston, and I had absolutely zero issues with my visa. And it just shows you the amount of fear and paranoia that's being spread right now. There's just so much misinformation about, you know, you hear about people getting arrested, people being detained for not having Attention in uh, the visas. terminal, Southwest is paging sorry. Mary Janelle Evans and, and Ma Magdalena Delgado and, and Thong Pham. Please guys. make your immediate way to gate number 22. As you can tell, I'm still here boarding. at the airport. But Mary Evans, Ma Delgado, and Thong Pham, gate number 22. But yeah, what I was trying to say was that, uh, yeah, there's just so much misinformation. There's so much fear and paranoia. There's so many people that are trying to tell you one thing, you know, and, and, I, and I don't even know why they do it uh, because, you know, it's never I got arrested. It's I heard that somebody else got arrested. Or I heard that somebody else. It's all these horror stories. So anyways, um, but yeah, like I said, I just want to make this video just to, if, in case you have any questions, if you have any specific questions uh, about the process, let me know in the comments. But thank you so much for watching. And if you like content like this, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. All right, thanks.